ke jai suparikar shri shri guru gauranga gandharvika giridhari shri shri radha vinod bihari jiu ki jai jai shri shri radha madhav jiu ki jai jai shri shri radha govind gopinath madan mohan jiu ki jai jai shri baladev purnima ki jai Shri Baladev Purnima Ki Jai Jai Shri Balaram Jiu Ki Jai Nitalila Pravishtom Vishnupad Paramahansa Astatara Sata Shri Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Nitalila Pravishtom Vishnupad Paramahansa Astatara Sata Shri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nitalila Pravishtom Vishnupad Paramahansa Ashto Tarasata Shri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Shridhar Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nitalila Pravishta Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Ashto Tarasata Shri Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshava Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nitalila Pravishtom Vishnupada Paramahansa Asto Tarasata Shri Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Nitalila Pravishtom Vishnupada Mahabhagavat Srila Gorki Sordas Goswami Maharaja Ki Jai Jai Saptam Gosai Shri Sila Satsida Nanda Bhakti Vinoda Thakur Ki Jai Vaishnava Sarva Bhama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shri Gauri Vedanta Charja Bala Devi Dibhusan Prabhu Ki Jai Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur Ki Jai Shri Narutam Srinivas Shyamananda Prabhu Trai Ki Jai Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Rup Sanatan Bhatta Raghunath Shri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Das Raghunath Shada Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Srila Surup Damadar Rai Ramanandari Gaur Parshad Vrinda Ki Jai Nama Acharya Shri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sikoho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vas Adi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Jai Shri Shri Nabadvipa Dhamma Ki Jai Shri Antar Dvip Mayapur Simanta Dvip Godram Dvip Mandi Dvip Kola Dvip Rida Dvip Jana Dvip Modram Dvip Rida Dvip Atma Ka Shri Shri Nabadvipa Dhamma Ki Jai Jai Shri Jai Shri Gaura Mandala, Shri Kshetra Mandala, Shri Braj Mandala Dhamma Ki Jai Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna, Gopa Gopi Gogover Dandvara Shavanatma Ka Shri Braj Mandala Dhamma Ki Jai Shyama Kunda Radha Kunda Yamuna Ganga Tulusi Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Govinda Radha Gopinath Radha Madan Mohanjiu Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Gokula Nanda Radha Shyam Sunda Radha Raman Radha Damodara Jiu Ki Jai Shri Mati Lalita Vishaka Adi Ashta Saki Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Rupa Manjari Rati Manjari Ananga Manjari Adi Manjari Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Mati Vrinda Devi Ki Jai Shri Mati Purnamasi Yoga Maya Devi Ki Jai Shri Gopi Swar Mahadeva Ki Jai Sarva Bhishta Pradata Giriraj Govardhana Ki Jai Grantra Shrimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Shri Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Sudarshan Chakra Jiu Ki Jai Jai Bhakti Vigna Vinashana Shri Nishringa Dev Ki Jai Bhakta Prabhu Shri Prahlad Maharaj Ki Jai Charo Dham Charo Sampradaya Charo Acharya Ki Jai Akara Matraj Shri Chaitanya Mat Ki Jai Orananya Shaka Mat Samuha Ki Jai Shri Vishva Vaishnav Rad Sabha Ki Jai Ananta Kodi Vaishnav Rinda Ki Jai Tri Bhuvana Pavana Harinama Sankirtana Ki Jai Tri Bhuvana Mangala Harinama Prabhu Ki Jai 
हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र की जय सचिनंदन गौर हरि की जय श्री नित्यानंद प्रभु की जय श्री नित्यानंद बलदेव की जय श्री नित्यानंद राम की जय श्री पंच तत्व की जय समवेत भक्त वृंद की जय समागत गौर भक्त वृंद की जय निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे Everyone loudly Nitai Gaur Premanande Nitai Gaur Premanande Baladev Purnima ki We can uh, do Mangala Charan together Vande ham Shri Guru Shri Jutaha Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Shnapadan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamscha Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namaum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shimate Bhaktivedanta Samaniti Nam Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Chare Vadi Paschatya Desatarane Maom Vishnu Padaya Radhikaya Priyatmane Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Naraya Niti Nama Shri Krishna Lila Katane Sudakshama Daurya Madhurya Gunaishtra Yuktam Varam Varanyam Purusham Mahantam Narayanam Tam Shirishanam Ami Namaom Vishnu Padaya Acharya Singha Rupane Shri Srimad Bhakti Pragyana Keshavaiti Namani Ati Martya Charitraya Srasita Nansha Palane Jeeva Dukke Sadartaya Shri Nama Prema Dayane Namaum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Te Namane Shivar Savana Videvi Dayataya Kripapdaya Krishna Sambandha Vigyana Dayane Pravavenama Madhurya Ujjala Premadhyaya Shri Rupanuga Bhaktida Shri Gaura Karuna Shakti Vigyana Namaste Gauravani Shri Murtai Dinatarane Rupanuga Virudhapa Siddhanta Dvantaharane Namo Gaura Kishuraya Sakshad Vairagya Murtai Vipralambara Sambudhe Padambujaya Te Nama Namo Bhakti Vinodaya Sachidananda Namane Gaura Shakti Sarupaya Rupanuga Varayate Gauravir Baba Bhumestvam Nirdeshta Sajana Priya Vaishnava Sarva Bhauma Shri Jagannathaya Te Vancha Kalpaturubascha Kripa Sindhubyeva Cha Patitanam Pavan Namo Nama Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitam Gauda Trise Namaha Nityanandam Namastubhyam Premananda Pradayane Kalo Kalmashanashaya Janava Patay Namaha Panchatatvatmakam Krishnam Bhaktarupa Sarupakam Bhaktavataram Bhaktakyam Namami Bhakta Shaktikam He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Jayatam Suruto Pangor Mamamandamatergati Subhambojo 
Madana Mohana, Divyad Vrindaranya Kalpa Drumadha, Shimadratna Gara Singha Shanasto, Shimadradha Srila Govinda Deva, Prishtala Bhisivya Mano Smarami, Shiman Rasara Sarambhi Vam Shivata Tataksitaha, Karsan Venus Vanair Gopir, Kopinata Sriestunaha, Vrindai Toside Bhai Priyai Keshavasyacha, Krishna Bhakti Prade Devi Satyavachai Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Guru Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Everyone Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Akanda Guru Tattva Shri Nityananda Rama Kija Shri Baladev Prabhu Kija Baladev Purnima Kija Gaura Premanande So, I don't know of a song that is specifically Baladev, but I do know songs that are about Lord Nityananda. So I think we can sing a Nityananda song. And one of my favorites is guess which one? That's correct. Nitai Padakamalam. Because it also, of course, applies to Lord Balaram, so no problem. Okay. Nitai Padakamala. Koti Chandra Sushitala Nitai Pada Kamala Koti Chandra Sushitala Yechaya Jagata Dura Yechaya Jagata Jura Lichoya Jagata Jura Yechoya Jagata Jura He no Nitai Vineva Radha Krishna Paite Nai He no Nita Vinevai Radha Krishna Paite Nai He no Nita Vinevai Radha Krishna Paite Nai He no Nita Kori Dharo Nitai Pai Dridha Kori Dharo Nitai Pai Dridha Kori Dharo Nitai Pai Dridha Kori Dharo Nitai Pai से संबंध नहीं जान प्रिता जन्म गेलो था से संबंध नहीं जान प्रिता जन्म गेलो था से पशु बरोधुरा 
নিতাই মরে করো
Timirandasya Gyanan Jana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama 
Mukam Karoti Vacha Lam Pongam Langa Yate Gidim Yat Kripa Tamaham Bande Shri Gurun Dinataranam Vancha Kalpaturubascha Kripa Sindhu Bevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhunamo Nama Namo Mahabadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Trise Namaha Samkarsana Karana Toya Shai Garbhoda Shai Cha Payogda Shai Sheshas Chayas Yangsa Kalasa Nityanandakya Rama Sharanam Mamastu Guravi Gaur Chandraya Radhikaya Itadalai Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namonam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sari Gaur Bhaktavrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. So first of all, I'm offering my unlimited dandavat pranams and my shraddha pushpanjali at the lotus feet of my most worshipable beloved Gurudev, Nitalila Pravishtom Vishnupad Paramahansa Astotarasata Sri Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada who is Nityananda Shakti Avesh and who came to save the whole world empowered by Sri Nityananda Prabhu and Baladev Prabhu Akanda Guru Tattva I pay my millions of obeisances at his lotus feet then I offer my same unlimited dandavat pranams and my Shraddha Pushpanjali at the lotus feet of my most worshipable beloved Siksha Guru Devs, Nityalila Pravishto, Om Vishnupad, Paramahansa, Asta Tarasata, Sri Srila Bhakti, Rakshak, Sri Goswami Maharaj, and Nityalila Pravishto, Om Vishnupad, Paramahansa, Asta Tarasata, Sri Srila Bhakti Vedanta, Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I offer my dandavat pranams to the lotus feet of all of my Sri Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Varga to my Siksha Guru Varga and my dandavat pranams to all of the Vaishnavas and to all of the Vaishnavis on this most auspicious day Sri Baladev Purnima the transcendental appearance day of Lord Balaramji in this world so as I mentioned, uh, I have to always think on Nityananda's appearance day and on Lord Balaram's appearance day. I have to always, first of all, think <laughs> that who is the one that made it possible for my Guru Maharaj Srila Prabhupada to come and to inundate the world with the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitan Charitamrita, and the entire philosophy Siddhanta of the Guru Gauriya Varga. That is Nityananda. Only Nityananda could do that. Uh -huh. And who declared this fact? Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj, the great authority Without an authority, no one can make such a statement. Anyone can say that. But when Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj said it, he meant that without Nityananda Prabhu, it could not have been done. Therefore, he is Shakti Avesh, of Nityananda Shakti. So, therefore, we have a very intimate relationship with Lord Balaram and his manifestation in Gaur Lila as Lord Nityananda because he really is Patita Pavana. He is the savior of the most fallen souls and that was proven by his manifesting in the body of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and Srila Sridhar Maharaj says that he went to just like Nityananda Prabhu would go to the most fallen, so he also went. He didn't go to the wealthy class, the highly educated class, no. He went to the fallen personalities in the lower east side of New York City. And he started there. And all throughout the world, he did not limit his distribution of mercy. He went to all the 
continents and everywhere he went. So I offer my obeisances to Sri Baladev Prabhu in the form of Akanda Guru Tattva who has come to save all of us. So Baladev Prabhu <laughs> is actually Krishna. His identity is that he's also Krishna himself. Uh, he is not like all of the other avatars and expansions. He has a special category that he's identical to Krishna. Only a few features are slightly altered, like his complexion and uh, you know he's, what he carries, how he dresses, like this. But Balaram is the first expansion of Krishna. And this we have to understand very clearly. Huh? All other expansions come from Balaram. All. So, you know, that's why in the beginning of Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, he's quoting five verses that were composed by Srila Surup Damodar Goswami, glorifying. Uh, Lord Nityananda Ram, meaning Baladev Prabhu. And the fifth chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita is dealing exclusively with what? Nityananda Tattva. So although Nityananda Tattva is an aspect of Baladev Tattva, and we know that there are specific types of um, oh, specialities, in Nityananda Tattva and so forth. You can close that window because of the sound coming from the speakers. So, <clears throat> but in the beginning of Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srila Vrind, uh, sorry, Chaitanya Bhagavat, uh, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur, the Vyasa Dev of Chaitanya Leela, uh, he's glorifying Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu equally uh, in his first shloka. Hmm? In his first shloka, how does that begin again? I'm forgetting. First shloka. What? Yes. Ajanu lambita bujo kanakava dato sankirtanaika pitaro kamalaya taksho. Vishwambaro Dvijavaro Yuga Dharma Palo Bande Jagat Priyakaro Karunavataro. So both of these, this is in plural number. Uh, in the Sanskrit, it's in plural number. So that's why it says Karunavataro. Uh, because two. So both of these personalities are the inaugurator of this uh, movement of Harinam Samkirtan. Both of these personalities, and I was just looking last night <coughs> in Srila Gurudev Samadhi at the Panchatattva, so beautiful that Panchatattva. I like to look from all different angles. And Lord Nityananda is practically as big. He's only a little bit less <laughs> than Lord Chaitanya. Huh? Gadadhar is a little bit shorter. But Nitai Gor, these are the two lords. Yes. Yeah. Parama Karuna Pahudvijana Nitai Gaura Chandra Sabavatar Sarashiromani Kevalayananda Kanda Sabayavatar Sarashiromani Kevalayananda Kanda Bajo Bajo Bhai Chaitanya Nitai Sudridha Vishwasa Kori So like this, Ajanu Lambita Bujo, they both had arms touching their knees. Kanakava Dato, their beautiful uh, complexions are golden also. Samkirta Naika Pitaro, they are the Pitara, the Pitas, the inaugurators of the Samkirtan movement. Samkirta Naika Pitaro, Kamalaya Taksho. They both have expanded lotus petal-shaped eyes. 
Vishwambaro, they are the maintainers of the entire universe. And how did Mahaprabhu, his name is Vishwambar, but also Nityananda Prabhu is Vishwambar. Vishwambaro, both of them are known in that way. Why? Because they are maintaining the entire universe with what? Krishna Prem. Yes, Gurudev explained that. Uh, Vishwambaro Dvijavaro, both appeared in the Dvija dynasty, but amongst all the Dvijas, they are the topmost supreme of the Brahminical class. Yuga Dharma Palo, the Yuga Dharma has been inaugurated by them. Bande Jagat Priyakaro, Karunavataro. So Bande Jagat Priyakaro means that they are dear to everyone in the whole universe and they have also endeared everyone in the whole universe. And they are the Karunavataro, the incarnations of mercy. So, in that first chapter of Chaitanya Bhagavat, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur, immediately, very soon, after he began the chapter, what does he begin to explain? Nityananda Tattva. Who is Nityananda? He wants everyone to understand this because who is his guru? His guru is Nityananda Prabhu, directly his guru. Yes, Nityananda Tattva. Uh, and he's explaining uh, how, uh, how Lord Nityananda is the only other person in all of existence who can dance in Braja Ras Lila. Only, only Balaram can do that. Nobody else can do that. Nobody else ever has and nobody else ever will. Hmm? So Baladev Prabhu came to uh, console the gopis because Krishna did not come for a long, long time. So Baladev Prabhu, he came to Braj and stayed two months. And during those two months, Baladev Prabhu enjoyed with the gopis but we should understand that he has his own gopis. That's clearly explained in the Ananda Vrindavan Champu that we've just been reading. And this is also explained in a number of the Goswami literatures that in Braj, Baladev Prabhu also has his own groups of gopis. So he danced Ras Leela with them. But Gurudev also explains that even if Baladev Prabhu would dance Ras Leela with Krishna's gopis, although he, he won't do that because of Mariada, because uh, he's the elder brother and so forth. Uh, but even if he did, what is his mood? What is the mood of Baladev? Now Baladev is, we, we clearly understand, he is Krishna himself. And who is Krishna? Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. Govinda Mahadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. He is the supreme enjoyer. He is Rasika Shekhar. He is the supreme taster of all rasa. So is Balaram also? Yes. Balaram is also the supreme taster of all rasa. But now we should understand in what way Balaram, what is Baladev's mood? And this is all important. Because Baladev Prabhu, although he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he feels himself to be what? The Supreme Personality of Servitor Godhead. Servitor. Baladev Prabhu is serving Krishna in every single rasa, in all capacities, and we will hear from Srila Gurudev, where I'm going to read his explanation of Baladev Tattva, how Baladev Prabhu uh, is only in the mood that Krishna is the enjoyer and I am his servant. When Baladev Prabhu expands, and then that expansion expands, and that expansion expands, all of these expansions, their mood is service to Krishna. Their mood is to serve Krishna. So, uh, Baladeva Tattva is a very big Tattva. Why? Because it includes everything. 
all existence. All existence is included in Baladev Tattva. Why? Because Baladev Prabhu is the uh, predominating deity, the, the Adhistatri Devata of the Sandini Shakti potency of the spiritual world. And that Sandini Shakti potency is the existence potency. So actually, Baladev Prabhu, uh, he, is the, he is the source of everything that exists. Even Gurudev says in one of these uh, lectures that even Krishna's form has come from Baladev. But we have to understand this all in terms of rasa tattva, you see. So, I want to read I'm going to read about Baladev Tattva. This is from 1993 Gurudev lecture. Do you know where? In Iskan, Krishna Balaram Mandir, I think. I'm not quite sure. In Vrindavan, yes. And Gurudev was there. Yes, Krishna Balaram Mandir, Vrindavan, India, August 2nd, 1993. So, now Gurudev is explaining. Today is a very auspicious day because two very sacred titis, days, have met together. Purnima and the appearance day of Baladev. And today also ends the Julan Yatra, which has been going on for one month since the beginning of the Shravan month. So, of course, we only do it from for five days but in Vrindavan they're celebrating this the entire month of Shravan mm -hmm. yes so at the end of Julan Yatra all Vrajvasis do you know that all the Vrajvasis become very sad at the end of Julan Yatra Gurudev is telling us they all become very sad why because no more swinging Radha and Krishna this is so enchanting to the heart. But, therefore, because they become sad, so Baladev Prabhu appears on this day and makes them happy. Got that? Baladev makes us happy. That's why at the end of the song, Nitai Padakamalam, that we just sang, <laughs> it says, Nartam Dastakur is saying, Narutam Boroduki, Nitai Mori Korosuki. Oh, this Nartam Das is very dukhi, very sad. So Nitai, make me suki, make me happy Nitai. Rako Ranga Charanera Pasha. <laughs> Give me shelter in the reddish toes of your lotus feet. So now, there's a controversy that Gurudev is addressing here regarding Baladev's appearance. Because there are persons in Braj who don't understand correctly Baladev's appearance I got it anyway. so some Brajbasis hold an opinion that Baladev appeared after Krishna they say that Krishna appeared on Ashtami the eighth moon day and Baladev appeared after Krishna on Chatra the following Sixth moon day. However, Srila Jiva Goswami, Srila Sanatan Goswami, Srila Rupa Goswami, and all our Goswamis don't agree on this point. They explain that if Baladev appears on the following sixth moon day, then Krishna will be older than Baladev Prabhu by several days. Or, if Baladev came the year before, then he will be almost one year older than Krishna. Therefore, Jiva Goswami states in his Vaishnav Toshini that according to the Srimad Bhagavatam, Krishna and Baladev were both named by Gargacharya on the same day. Is that not a fact? Their name-giving ceremony was given 
in the cow shed on the same day. Huh? And they were both crawling at the same time. Yes. And their anaprasana, their Mahash, Mahaprasad taking ceremony of any new child that was performed on the same day. And also all their developments took place at the same time. <clears throat> so when Krishna took birth in Gokul and Baladev first saw him, that was the first time Baladev had opened his eyes. When Mother Yashoda and Rohini Ma placed them both on the same hanging swing, oh, they were very much pleased to see each other. Who else had her eyes closed? We have the picture right there. Shimati Radhika's eyes were closed and everyone was sad. Oh, this child, she's so beautiful. But her eyes are closed. But when Krishna came, then she opened her eyes. Yes? Yes. She didn't want to see anything other than Krishna. So therefore she kept her eyes closed. And so now, some say that Baladev Prabhu and Krishna, they took birth in Mathura. But this understanding belongs to ordinary persons, not to the Rasik and the Tattva Gya Bhaktas. Nope. No. Only ordinary persons think that Krishna took birth and Baladev Prabhu in Mathura. They have a different opinion. So in Srimad Bhagavatam and the Harivamsha, <coughs> it is stated that Devaki is another name for Yashoda. We've heard that before, right? That Mother Yashoda is also known as Devaki. So this is written in so many Puranas. And it is especially in the Harivamsha. Now, there was no birth in Mathura. Krishna appeared there as Vishnu. As Parabrahma. As a youth of 16 years. He didn't take birth from the womb. In Mathura, he appeared in the form of Vasudev. Uh, and he was four-handed. And he was holding his Shanka, his Gada, Chakra, and Padma. And he had long, wavy hair. He wore Sharanamukut. I think that's Svaranamukut. A golden crown. And he was adorned with golden ornaments. So, Bhagavan, Bhagavan never takes birth. Does Bhagavan take birth? All of you educated Vaishnavas, huh? Does Bhagavan, is Bhagavan born? Huh? What do you think? He's not? Yes. Anadir, Adir, Govinda. So is Bhagavan born? No, then how can Krishna say, Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo, Matak Sarvam Pravartate, from me everything emanates, everything comes from me. But Rasik Vaishnavas, we know, yes, of course Krishna is born. And in this world, there's an actual manifestation of his birth. Yes, in Gokul. Yes. Krishna actually is born from the womb of Mother Yashoda. And when you go there to Gokul, you'll see the maternity room. And you'll see that there's a room where the umbilical cord is cut. And when Gurudev would come there to Gokul with us during the uh, Kartik month, uh, he would challenge all those persons who try to say that Krishna uh, is really born in Mathura and all of that, right? And he would say, if you try to tell this to any Vrijbasi that Krishna is the son of Devaki and Vasudev, they will say, what, are you crazy? Huh? We were personally there. We witnessed with our own eyes that Krishna came from the womb of Mother Yashoda and we witnessed the cutting of the umbilical cord. So don't try to tell us. We're bridge bossies, okay? We know whose son Krishna is. <laughs> so, so 
Bhagavan, if in the form of Bhagavan, Bhagavan never takes birth. But Krishna is not only Bhagavan, yes, he's Bhagavan, he is Swayam Bhagavan. He's the Bhagavan of all Bhagavans. He's the source of all incarnations and expansions. So Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur has written a shloka that reveals the opinion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what is that shloka? We've all heard this many times. Aradyo Bhagavan Prajeshatanayas Tadhama Brindavanam. So first of all, Krishna, he is, first of all, Krishna is Brajendra Nandan. He's the son of Nanda Maharaj. And he is Aradya. He is the supreme worshipable deity. Taddama Brindavanam. His abode, Brindavan, is equally worshipable as he is. Just imagine. Vrindavan is as worshipable as Krishna himself. And Lord Sri Krishna and his abode Vrindavan are equally worshipable. So this is the idea of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna is not the son of Vasudeva and Devaki. He is only the son of Yashoda and Nanda Baba. Vrajeshatanayas, that means Nanda Baba. So our Aradya Dev is Krishna, and he took birth in Gokul. So just as Krishna took birth in Gokul, so Baladev Prabhu also takes birth only in Gokul. Did you hear that? Does, it, does Baladev Prabhu take birth anywhere other than Gokul? No. Baladev takes birth in Gokul. He comes from the womb of Devaki only in part. But in whole, he comes from the womb of Rohini in Gokul. And Rohini Devi was one of Vasudev's many wives in Mathura. So in Gopal Champu, it is stated that when Vasudev and Devaki were put in Kangsu's jail, then she, Rohini Devi, used to go from time to time to visit and serve them f there. Huh? So on one visit she became pregnant and Devaki also conceived a child at the same time. So the Mool, meaning the original, the complete Balaram, he entered her womb and his plenary portion was in the womb of Devaki. So after two or three months, in order to protect Rohini from the atrocities of Kangsa, Vasudev sent her to Vrindavan to live in the home of Nanda Baba and Yashoda. Right? Right? So to protect her, she went to Nanda Baba's home, Mother Yashoda. Now, Yoga Maya had inspired him to do so, had inspired Vasudev to do so. So after Baladev's plenary expansion had been in Devaki's womb for six months, follow this carefully, this expansion of Baladev had been in Devaki's womb for six months, then Yoga Maya took him from her womb to where? Yoga Maya transferred him to where? To Gokul where she put him in Rohini's womb. And both the plenary portion and the original Balaram, they merged there. Mm -hmm. So, it appeared and everyone thought that Devaki had a miscarriage. But actually, that plenary portion had been transferred to Rohini's womb. So just as a magnet, attracts iron, so the original Baladev attracted his own expansion. <clears throat> I think they're still having the class there. Uh, oh, they just rang the bell? Okay. Yeah, so she can go. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, So, 
After Boladev's plenary expansion had been in Devaki's womb for six months, then Yogamaya took him from her womb to Gokul, where she put him in Rohini's womb. And both the plenary portion and the original Balaram merged together there. So it appeared, and also everyone thought, that Devaki had a miscarriage. But actually, that plenary portion had been transferred to Rohini's womb. So as a magnet attracts iron, so the original Baladev attracted his own expansion. So just as a magnet attracts iron, so the original Baladev attracted his own expansion. That's the meaning of the word Sankarshan. Yes. Yes, that's true. That's true, because that was one of his names that he was given in the Garga, by Gargarishi, Sankarshan. So, yes, yeah, so Yogamaya, yeah, okay. So eight months later, then Rohini begot her son. So therefore, all in all, Sri Baladev had been in her womb for how many months? Fourteen. Yes, six plus eight is fourteen. Now, when Krishna appeared as Vasudev, forehanded his forehanded plenary expansion in Mathura, then Vasudev and Devaki prayed to him, and they said, "Please appear as a very little boy, and then we can try to save you from Kamsa." So at that time, Krishna, who had just taken birth from the womb of Yashoda at once came to Mathura and he took Chatur Bhuj, four-handed Krishna, inside of him. When? Krishna had just taken birth from the womb of Yashoda and at once he came to Mathura and he took Chatur Bhuj, four-handed Krishna, in him and both mixed. So Vasudev took this baby Krishna to Gokul, left him there, and took Yogamaya, Krishna's sister, who had also just taken birth from Yashoda's womb, along with him. So similarly, we should know that Rohini's son, Baladev Prabhu's ex uh, plenary expansion, was present in the womb of Devaki. And by the arrangement of Yogamaya, he was carried to Gokul. So both mixed together there, as Rohini Nanda. So, <clears throat> Balaram always thought, and he was in the mood, that his father was who? When Balaram, in Braj, he always thought like this, and what was his mood? That who was his father? Nanda Baba. Not Vasudev Maharaj, no. He never thought, I am the son of Devaki and Vasudev. So Mool Sankarshan is Baladev in Dwarka or Mathura. Mool Sankarshan. And Baladev in Gokul or Braj is not Mool Sankarshan. He is something different. In Tattva they are both one, but by Rasavichar consideration on the basis of Rasa, oh, they are not one. So when Krishna appeared in Mathura, he was not the original Krishna. But he was Vasudev Nandana. So similarly, when Baladev appeared in Mathura, he was not Rohini Nandan, but rather Mul Sankarshan. So in both Dwarka and in Mathura, he is Mul Sankarshan, a partial manifestation of Baladev Prabhu. So from him, Maha Sankarshan in Vaikuntha is expanded. Yes. Yes. From Baladev. In Dwarka, who is Mul Sankarshan, from him, uh, Maha Sankarshan in Vaikuntha is expanded from him. And that Maha Sankarshan is the source of all the Vishnu forms in all the Vaikuntha planets. And who else comes from that? From that Maha Sankarshan in Vaikuntha? Yes, Karandakshai Vishnu. Karandakshai Vishnu also comes from him. So Karandakshai Vishnu, Garbhadakshai comes, and from Garbhadakshai comes Kirudakshai Vishnu, and the last part of Mahasankarshan is Kirudakshai Vishnu as 
Anantashesh. All these expansions have the mood to serve Krishna and they are serving him. So now Baladeva and Krishna are actually the same. Now Gurudev is speaking on that. That Baladeva and Krishna are the same. There is no difference between Krishna and Baladeva. Krishna is Swayam Rupa and Baladeva Prabhu is also like that. But still, he is Krishna's Prakash, his manifestation. And there is only some slight difference in color and paraphernalia. Baladeva never carries his Hala and his Musala, his plow and his club in Braja. And Krishna also never carries any weapon there. Of course, we know that when he came to Braja, later, after Krishna concluded his Braja pastimes and he danced with the gopis, he had his club manifested there to drag the Yamuna River, who wasn't willfully coming. <laughs> but then she came. Yes. So, Baladev, uh, <clears throat> and Krishna also never carries any weapon in Braja Vrindavan. He only carries his Vamshi, and Baladev Prabhu carries only his what? Buffalo horn, his uh, Shringar. But the Vamshi is prominent for him. Uh, but by that Vamshi, Krishna performs Raslila and all similar pastimes. So Baladev does not keep a plow or a club because there is no use for them in Braj. Where all his leelas are madhura, sweet, he is not married in Braj. Oh. He doesn't keep a plower club there. Why? Because no use in Braj. Because all of his leelas in Braj are madhur, sweet. And he is also not married in Braj, and Krishna is also not married there openly. They only engage in their sweet leelas there. And in Dwarka, however, it is Vasudev Nandana and Devaki Nandana who appear. So, Vrindavana Prityajana Padam Ekam Nagachati. It is not only the part of Krishna, but also the part of Baladev Prabhu who go there. Huh? Baladev Prabhu also never leaves Vrindavan, he always lives in Vrindavan. So now, Gurudev is saying that someone may say that Baladev was in the womb of Rohini in Mathura, and then at that time, therefore, he was out of Vrindavan. But this is not true. Rohini is a Vishuddha Vrajvasi. She is always in the consciousness that I am a Brajvasi. And even when Nanda Baba and the cowherd boys went to Mathura with Krishna, they were still in Vrindavan. Why? Because their consciousness was such. So Yogamaya Purnamasi apparently lived in Ujjain before moving to Vrindavan. But actually she is an eternal Vishuddha Brajvasi. So Rohini apparently came from Mathura but she is also an eternal Vishuddha Brajvasi. Therefore, when Rohini Nandan Baladev appeared in her womb, he was in Vrindavan. <clears throat> now comes the Tattva. Baladev, Tattva. Baladev is Sat. So, now Krishna. Krishna is a mixture of Sat, Chit, and Ananda. Hmm? The meaning of Sat is sat sattva, the existence potency. And chit here, it means bhav, transcendental loving emotions, which are manifested in the five rasas. So in the ordinary sense, it is taken as jnana, knowledge, chit. But there is no jnana in that sense in Vrindavan. So in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated jnane prayasa mudapasya namanta eva. Yes. If you want to serve Krishna and you want to serve Srimati Radhika in Brajbhav, oh, you will have to leave Gyan behind. You'll have to try to hear only the pastimes of Krishna, to remember them, and to chant the names of Krishna and Radhika. Otherwise, if you are not a Kantik, one-pointed, you cannot approach Braj. So when Tattva Gyan becomes Bhav, Tattva Gyan becomes Bhav, then that Bhav can reach to Vrindavan. Hmm? And we can serve in Braj with that Bhav. So Tattva Gyan also becomes Bhav. 
So in the ordinary sense, Gyan is only in relation to what? Brahman, Brahman Jyoti. So those who are Gyanis, they think themselves to be Brahman. So when Gyan is Tattva Gyan though, when Gyan is Tattva Gyan, realization of Bhagavan, then one can go to Vaikuntha, but he cannot reach Vrindavan. So, here, Gyan means the path experienced in the five rasas, Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, and Madhurya. That's what Gyan means in relation to Braj. So, this is called Samvit, the knowledge potency. And the potency by which Krishna knows himself and by which others know him. That is called Samvit Shakti. Now the essence or the sum and the substance of Ladini Shakti, what is that called? Prem. That's the essence. That is the sum and substance of Ladini. And Prem is personified, is Prem which is personified is Srimati Radhika. Prem personified. Now, Baladev Prabhu is the Adhistatri Devata. That means he's the predominating deity of Sat, Sattva, or Sandini. Now, Krishna is the Adhistatri Devata of Chit. That is both Gyan and Bhav together. And Srimati Radhika is the Adhistatri Devi of Ladini. So, Sat Chit Ananda. Sat is the existence potency. The jiva is also ever living and is also ever existing. But Baladev, he is the master of all. He is the personification of Sat, all existence. He is the original existence potency. And we see Krishna, we see his Vamshi, we see all the Brajbasis, we see this world and we see the jivas. All are expansions of Baladev Prabhu. Krishna with Baladev and Radharani. When Krishna is with Baladev and Radharani, he is Brajendra Nandan Shyam Sundar. And without Baladev there, there would be no existence of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna and the gopis, and there would be no existence of the land of Vrindavan. Did you hear that? Vrindavan would not exist without Balaram. So, without Baladev, there would be no existence of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna and the gopis. And also, there would be no existence of the land of Vrindavan because he is the existence potency. So all the associates of Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, and Vatsalya Rasas, they are manifestations of Baladev. Did you hear that? All the associates in Shanta Ras, Dasya, Sakya, and Vatsalya Rasas are manifestation, manifestations of Baladev. And regarding Madhurya Rasa, those gopis who are Kaya Vyuha Rupa, bodily expansions of Srimati Radhika, they are her manifestations. So Baladev serves in all rasas, but not in Sringar or in Madhurya Rasa. In order to serve in that rasa, he takes the form of who? Ananga Manjari. And Ananga Manjari in Braj is whose younger sister? Huh? Radhika's younger sister. Sridham is younger brother. Or maybe older brother, I feel like. Yeah, Sridham. But Ananga Manjari is the younger sister of Radhika. That's Baladev in Madhurya Rasa Leela. So, now Gurudev is saying that our root cause is who? Baladev. So, so now he very nicely explains this point. He says the root of all jivas and the cause of all jivas is Baladev Prabhu. So in Braja, 
the jivas have manifested from the original Baladev. They have never come to this world and they have always served Radha and Krishna in Madhurya Rasa or in Sakya Rasa. So from Baladev comes Mul Sankarshan and Dwarka. And from Mul Sankarshan and Dwarka, innumerable jivas come from Baladev in his form as Mul Sankarshan and they serve Dwarkadish and Maturesh Krishna in so many ways. And from Mool Sankarshan comes Maha Sankarshan in Vaikuntha. He manifests the Mukta Jeeves there in Vaikuntha. And they eternally serve Rama, Rama, or Ram, Nishringa, Kalki, Vaman, Narayan, and all other Svamsha incarnations. Who serves them? The associates in Vaikuntha. So, now comes from Maha Sankarshan comes Karana Dakshai Vishnu, who's also known as who? Maha Vishnu. That he comes from Maha Sankarshan and Vaikuntha. So, and from him comes Karana Dakshai Vishnu in the Tatasta region, where he comes in the spiritual world. Kanadakshai Vishnu, the causal ocean. Tatasta region, Gurudev is saying. And then he manifests the Tatasta Jivas. That's us. That's us. Yes or no? Do you know that you're a Tatasta Jiva? You're not a Nitya Siddha Jiva? You better not think that. Because then you're really in trouble. Okay. So. So. He, that Karnadakshai Vishnu manifests the Tatasta Jivas. Who are on the marginal. The marginal potency between the spiritual world and the material world. Yes. So among those Tatasta Jivas. Some become free from Maya and some become Buddha Jivas, conditioned souls. So in this way, we see that all kinds of Jivas have come from who? Baladev. So it is told like this in the scriptures. It is told like this in the scriptures, but actually there is no birth of the Jivas. Okay? There's no birth of the Jivas. They are all eternal like Baladev Prabhu himself. This is only said to convince the sadharana, the ordinary jivas or the ordinary conditioned souls. So there are so many things that Shastra has told us, wherein, whereas in reality, in Goloka Brindav, Goloka Brindavan Dham, these things will be seen in another way. So now, all scriptures, such as Chaitan Charitamrita, and the Srimad Bhagavatam, all scriptures are nothing but the glorification of Sri Baladev Prabhu. Baladev is Akanda Guru Tattva. That is, you know this word Akanda Guru Tattva? Everyone say Akanda Guru Tattva. Akanda Guru Tattva. What does Akanda mean? You know this meaning of the word Akanda? Akanda means undivided, not divided. The one supreme principle of Guru Tattva is Baladev. He is the Akanda Guru Tattva. So th that means that he personifies the principle of teaching all souls how to serve Krishna. And all scriptures, they are only the glorification of service to Krishna and so therefore all scriptures glorify Baladev. So both, the, both forms of the Bhagavatam, that is the Book Bhagavat, the Granta Bhagavat, Srimad Bhagavatam, and the Bhakta Bhagavat, the Person Bhagavat, they are both manifestations of Baladev Prabhu. Srimad Bhagavatam, for example, is said to be the body of Krishna. 
Yes. Srimad Bhagavatam is the body of Krishna. What, the first two cantos are his two lotus feet, etc. Now the existence of Krishna's form is a manifestation of, here it is, the existence of Krishna's form is a manifestation of and also rests upon his existence potency, Sandini Shakti, of Baladev or, or Baladev. So regarding the Bhakta Bhagavat, he is the bona fide guru and all gurus manifest from Baladev. So without Baladev's mercy, one cannot attain the mercy of Krishna. Without Baladev's mercy, one cannot attain whose mercy? Yes. Now, Baladev exhibits all moods and all rasas for serving Krishna. And in his inner mood, he also has Madhurya rasa. In Baladev's inner mood, he has Madhurya rasa. So to manifest that mood, he becomes an Angamanjari. Now, Baladev also manifests Shastra. Shastra is manifested by Baladev. So in the forest of Naimasharanya, during the recitation of the Puranas and the Mahabharata, because the Srimad Bhagavatam had not yet manifest, so the speaker, Ramaharshan Sutta, he did not stand up when Balaram arrived. And Balaram is the guru of all gurus. He is also the guru of even Vyasadeva, who is the guru of Ramaharshan Sutta. So by offending Balaram, Ramaharshan Sutta exhibited that he was not actually part of Akanda Guru Tattva and he was killed. The son of Ramaharshan Sutta was who? Ugrashrava Sutta or Sutta Goswami. So by Balaram Prabhu's placing his hand on Sutta Goswami's head, all the scriptures manifested in his heart. So this is the actual process. Unless the bona fide guru gives his causeless mercy, real tattva cannot manifest in the heart of the disciple. So Sutta Goswami was initiated by Sri Sukadeva Goswami and he heard Srimad Bhagavatam from him. That's why Sutta Uvacha, Yam Pravrajantam Anupetam Apeta Krityam Dvaipayano Virahakatar Ajuhava Putre Titan Maya Tayo Taravas Bine Du Samtam Sarva Bhuta Hridayam Munim Antosmi. So this is the verse Gurudev would chant every single time before he lectured, particularly in the West. So here's what Sutta, uh, Sutta Goswami said. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto that great sage, Shukadev Goswami, who can enter the hearts of all. And when he went away to take up the renounced order of life, who went away? Shukadev. When did he go away to take sannyas? Immediately when he came out of the womb, bye-bye. So leaving home without undergoing his sacred thread ceremony, or other ceremonies, reformation ceremonies, which are observed by the higher castes. He didn't wait for any of that. And then what happened? His father Vyasadeva, fearing separation from him, cried out, Oh my son! But indeed only the trees, which were absorbed in the same feelings of separation, they echoed in response to the bereaved father Vyasadeva. So all of Braja, is a manifestation of Balaram. Balaram has also manifested, here we go, all of Braja is a manifestation of Balaram. Balaram has also manifested as Giri Govardhan. But there are many subtle intricacies here. And according to Rasa Tattva, Govardhan is a manifestation of Srimati Radhika. But in general, everything comes from Balaram. So you can't go wrong. <laughs> now, who gives knowledge? Who gives knowledge? Knowledge comes from Balaram. So Balaram killed what demon? 
that represents ignorance. Denuk asur. And ignorance is destroyed by who? Guru. So Balaram is the source of all bona fide gurus and he is a Kanda Guru Tattva, the complete and undivided principle of Guru. Right now we're going to hear a very, very short. No, no. Denukasur. Denukasur. Where's the microphone thing? Give the microphone thing to Maharaj. Very briefly we're going to hear about Denukasur. Yes. Yeah, no, no, take the whole thing over there. I'm Gyanu Tamarangas Yagananjana Salakaya Chakshu Mitam Jaina Tajmai Sri Raina Varma. Guru Re Kuru Chandrai Rari Kaita Dalai Krishnai Krishna Bhaktai Tad Bhaktai Namon Vala. Panchikalpa Duris Chakrita Sindhu Deva Chakritita Nam Bhavnevi O Vaishnava Dhyana Namon Vala. First of all, let me offer my humble Sastana Pranams, the Lord's feet of my Guru Dev, Nitya Lila Pavishnu Master, Tarzan Tashishman, Shri Bhaktivedanta Swami, Shri Prabhupada, <coughs> and my Shikshan Sanyas Guru Devas, Nitya Lila Pavishnu Master, Tarzan Tashishman, Shri Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Narayan, and Nitya Lila Pavishnu Master, Tarzan Tashishman, Bhaktivedanta Vam Goswami Narayan, all our Acharyas, Rupanubu, Guru Varga, and all the Samad Vaishnavas, Tandava Pranams. So, Krishna, mm, Krishna comes to Prithinaya Sadhanam Vinashaya Sudhuskidam Dharmasam Sarpanataya Sambhavani Rigege. He comes to establish religious principles when there's decline. He comes to annihilate the demoniac inf uh, forces and he comes to give pleasure to the devotees, especially his Braj Bhaktas. Janma karma chamedavam evam yoveti tattvata chattvadeyam punar janma naiti mam etu sorjuna. One who knows the transcendental purpose in a, for Krishna's appearance, we have just heard his birth in the womb of Nan, uh, Yashoda. And a, Ceremony took place at Karina Bilpukur. One who knows the transcendental appearance and also Baladev Tattva, that we're so blessed to participate and try to grasp today on this holy day of Balaram, Balaram's appearance day. One who understands the purpose of this transcendental appearance does not have to take birth again. So we pray to Balaram. Akanda Guru Tattva Shri Guru Dev, that we can imbibe this Tattva deeply into our hearts and pray to Balaram on his holy appearance day. So, Krishna comes and even when he's six years old, he kills powerful demon Putana. She had the strength of 10,000 elephants. When Yashoda had to run and Damodar Leela, when she ran to get the milk that was spilling over, she easily put Krishna down. But when Putana wanted to push Krishna down because he began sucking up, she had transformed herself uh, into a uh, 16 kilometer <laughs> big. And he, he tried to put, he wanted to put, uh, she wanted to put Krishna down. Although she had the strength of 10,000 elephants, she couldn't do so. Child, don't leave me, child, child. So, six days old, he killed Putana. So, Krishna killed many demons, but actually his killing was their liberation. He gave them liberation. English Samasta. <laughs> so, uh, so then Baladev, he kills a few demons himself. Krishna leaves that for Baladev. There's certain uh, in Krishna Samhita, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains what are these demons and what are their, uh, what are they a manifestation of? Right? For instance, we just spoke of Putana. She's the manifestation of false guru or falsity. 
deceive, deceive him. Right? So when we hear the Krishna liberating Bhutana, we become uh, relieved from the tendency to accept a false guru in our life and not be cheated like so many different uh, persons are cheating others. So I recommend devotees to take the Krishna the Supreme Person I've got it book that my Gurudev has wonderfully presented. Uh, the, the synopsis of, of the tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Very beautifully explained and I'm just going to make it brief. Uh, but Krishna enters into the forest with Balaram. Balaram with his bugle form, Krishna with his flute, uh, accompanied by the cows. And in Gopi Gita it says that, that one who can envision this and one who has the fort fortune of good eyes to see this form of Balaram and Krishna entering the forest of Vrindavan, Krishna with a peacock feather in his hair, Vamsi, Balaram with blue garments, Krishna with yellow garments, Balaram with a buffalo horn. One who can, and, and with their beautiful cows, um, milky ocean white cows, this, this is the perfection of the eyes. So they enter the forest and in one uh, pastime, they're entering into a forest, there's 12 different forests of Vrindavan, one of them is Talavan. So they enter into Talavan and Balaram uh, is there as well and Sridham and Subal, they approach Krishna and they say, Oh Krishna, uh, there's a very fragrant breeze blowing and it has the, the fragrance of beautiful tall fruits. Uh, bale fru uh, tall fruits. So uh, we have this demon of hunger. So please, you've killed many demons. Please destroy this demon of hunger within our bellies and uh, rid us from this this demon, Dainukasura, who's taken the form of a donkey. No one can come to this area and enjoy the tall fruits because this demon, not even the the the, the the animals, not even the birds, come to this area because he's so demoniac. He's a friend of Kamsa and he, no one can enter into this forest. So Balaram is there and he hears this, Krishna hears this, so they, Balaram begins thinking, oh, I, I will do away with this demon, Dhenukasura. And he immediately goes over and starts shaking the tall fruits, or uh, tall, tall uh, trees. And the fruits start falling from the from uh, their branches, and hit the, the the ground. And there's a big tumultuous roar of all these tall fruits hitting the ground, and it uh, disturbs the demon Danikasura. So he comes, and first he uh, runs at Balaram and kicks him with his rear legs. Uh, very very powerful, the kick of a uh, <laughs> in the form of a donkey. Uh, or ass. So Balaram is completely undaunted, but then uh, Danakasura comes again and does this. So finally Balaram gets a little uh, bit agitated and he grabs a hold of Danakasura's legs and he twirls him around very, very, uh, uh, very, very powerfully. And just the whirling around, the demon David Kasura leaves his body and then he throws him into a tall tree. And that tall tree falls into others and there's a big, like, uh, 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 what's that called? <laughs> yeah. yeah, domino effect. Uh, and then the, the, all the, the demon's friends come and see, oh, our master Danica has been destroyed. So they also start, uh, trying to fight with Krishna and Balaram and Krishna and Balaram take them one by one and throw them also in the trees and kill so many. So after a while there's, there's so many demon uh, asses or donkeys uh, decorating the Taliban forest and so much blood is coming. So the demigods seeing this have showered flowers from the sky and, and so many are uh, singing Jai Balaram, Bai Jai Baladev. So, as Maharaj has said, this demon, Danikasur, represents ignorance. So, ignorance, we say, Oman Jnana Timurandasya, Gyanan Jnana Salaga. So, we offer obeisance to the Guru who dissipates our darkness of ignorance with the torchlight of knowledge. This is a Kanda Guru Tattva. 
Srila Baladev. So also there's another pastime in the forest and it's so beautifully explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the beauty of the forest, the, the different types of animals there, the birds, the bees, the deer, the peacocks, the, the swans, etc. A beautiful atmosphere which is emanating from Krishna. And this is also emanating from Balaram, who is the existence of uh, Vrindavan itself. So <clears throat> while they're there, there's one demon, Paramasura, and he was agitated because Krishna killed his friend. Uh, who's his relative? Palambasura? He was related, he was a good uh, servant of Kangsa and was sent there. So he wanted to uh, revenge the, ki uh, the uh, killing of one of his friends who was killed by Krishna, one of the demons. I forget which one. So, uh, Krishna saw the demon and he's Trikalagya, he knows this is a demon, although he's disguised himself as a coward boy, huh? a gopa. So Krishna's not bewildered and he says, oh, our friends, uh, they have been playing, uh, imitating the deer and imitating the frogs and the, the, the different uh, birds of Vrindavan. So now he said, we're going to play transcendental uh, pastime of uh, wrestling. So, and he, he divided everyone into to different sides. There was some, some of the coward boys had, were on Balaram's side and some were on Krishna's side. So, in, in the, and then a wonderful uh, wrestling took place. And Krishna is controlled by love. So, he is a, very much uh, controlled by the love of Sridham. <clears throat> so, th on this particular wrestling match, uh, Sri Ram defeated Krishna. Although sometimes Krishna says, because uh, Sri Ram calls out, oh, I'm the winner, I'm the winner. And Krishna says, no. And he said, what do you mean? I'm sitting on your chest. You're down. <clears throat> Krishna says, no. Your, your, your nose is down and mine is up. So I'm the winner. Anyway, there's other things. Uh, so uh, Sri Ram defeats, and the, the winner has to be uh, carried on the shoulders of the loser. So Sridham carries Krishna, as Krishna carries Sridham, excuse me. And Balaram had been uh, uh, wrestling with Dainu, uh, excuse me, with Palaram Basura. So uh, Balaram was the winner, and Palaram Basura carried him on his shoulders. And then he thought, oh, I'll take him very, I'll take Balaram very far away from Krishna, and I'll get rid of him some other place. So he assumed his big form. No, what you have to say. The cowherd boys only saw him in his cowherd boy form, that he was going away. Oh, okay. Then he began to transform. Okay. okay. So after he got out of the sight of the cowherd boys, then he resumed his, his gigantic, ugly, demoniac form. And, and then Balaram realized... on top of him, looking down at him. What is this? Balaram's going, this demon has changed in every way. What happened? And then he realized, oh... He's actually a demon and he's trying to harm me. Uh, so he described how he looked. <laughs> he had he, he had black. fiery eyes, black blackish complexion. He had very sharp teeth and his, his eyes were like um, copper, molten, uh, very ugly form. And he was huge. He expanded big, in size. Big, big, ugly teeth. And I forget how big it says he was, but he was huge. But and uh, he's no match for Balaram. What does Balaram mean? Uh, spiritual power, spiritual uh, strength, Bala. So we pray to Balaram on this day to give us strength in our spiritual practices because we tend to be weak and because we're in the Tatashta Shakti that Maharaj explained and the Tatashta Shakti can be a little bit bewildered by the external energy. But Balaram will help us, uh, Sri Guru can help us and make us strong. So Balaram seeing this demon had changed and was actually trying to harm him, then he immediately, very easily with his fist, struck the demon on the head. And as that demon's eyes bulged out of their sockets. He fell to the ground dead. There was a tumultuous noise and the uh, coward boys came. And again, the, shower, the demigods in the heavens, uh, they showered flowers and glorified Sri Baladev. Uh, so, <clears throat> 
Parlam Basur, Srila uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur in, in Krishna Samhita explains that, that Parlam Basura represents the demon of hypocrisy or deceit. He decided, like, like Putana, he uh, assumed the form of a coward boy, but he was actually a demon and he concealed his own form. So th this deceitfulness or hypocrisy has to be destroyed and Guru can purify the, this tendency of deceiving uh, and hypocritical uh, position of, a, of a, an aspiring devotee uh, so that we can be successful in our performance of bhakti. So, you want to do Dravida? No. Okay. So, the, it's very special, um, and Maharaj will, will mention, because I'm forgetting the details of Gurudev saying, why these particular demons that represent these particular Anarthas are killed by Baladev instead of Krishna. Because in this case, the Guru can help us overcome these different uh, Anarthas that we have. So we're concluding, um, you know, this session of Baladev Tattva. Gurudev really succinctly has told up to that point, you know, very uh, condensed, uh, very condensed uh, Tattva. But especially this point about Guru, uh, about Baladev being a Kanda Guru Tattva. And these, pa these two pastimes in particular of Baladev killing these two different demons, Denakasur and Palambasur, they're both representing, one is representing ignorance, Denakasur, and Palambasur is representing Kapatya, deceitfulness, hypocrisy like that. So because uh, Baladev Prabhu is the Akanda Guru Tattva, therefore he manifested this particular pastime of killing these particular demons. Because Guru does that. Sri Guru is a manifestation of Baladev Tattva. And Sri Guru can destroy our ignorance, right? So if if Guru cannot destroy your ignorance, then how can he be Guru? Uh, so, Akanda Guru Tattva, uh, Sri Guru, plays this role for the conditioned souls. Oma Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya. Uh, he removes Chakshuru Militam. From the eyes of the disciple, he opens the darkened eyes. And with what? Jnananjana. The instrument of Gyan of knowledge. So tasmai shri gurave namaha. This is a Baladev tattva. So this is a very inconceivable thing that Baladev Prabhu, he's actually the original guru tattva, the original guru. And we know that in this material world that we are now inhabiting, there are two manifestations of Guru. One manifestation is the Chaitya Guru. Chaitya Guru means what? Paramatma. The super soul who is situated within our heart. Uh, and that Guru, who is within the heart, is actually the expansion of Baladev, as we already explained, Kirudakshai Vishnu. Kirudakshai Vishnu is the super soul in everyone's heart, and not only everyone's heart, he's the super soul in every atomic particle. Uh, so this is completely inconceivable, completely, absolutely beyond comprehension. But that is his position, uh, Baladev Prabhu. So, but Baladev manifests internally uh, as the Chaitya Guru and he guides the conditioned soul lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And then also he manifests outwardly as what? The Mahant Swarup. Mahant Swarup means a very great, advanced, pure devotee, Vaishnava. 
he manifests as Mahant Swarup. So in this way, uh, Baladev Prabhu is manifesting outwardly as well as Sri Guru. So that's why we sing in the Gurvastakam prayer, which verse? Sakshad Harite Nasamasta Shastra Ruktas Tata Bhavyata Eva Sadabi Kintu Prabhuya Priya Eva Tasya Bande Guru Sri Charanaravinda. So what is the meaning? Sakshad Haritvena. That Sri Guru is a identical manifestation huh, of this principle of Guru Tattva, of Bhagavan. And how do we know that really that is the fact? We know that because Ruktas Tata Bhavya De Eva Sadbi. Nasamasta Shastra. In all the Shastras, and then also confirmed by who? All the great pure devotees. Sadbi, pure devotees who are fully realized. They have all confirmed this that Sri Guru is direct manifestation of Krishna in the form of Guru Tattva. So therefore, uh, on the Baladev Purnima day, we're especially acknowledging this manifestation of Baladev. And we already heard that all of us, Tatasta Jivas, we all come originally from Karandakshai Vishnu, but we're actually eternal. So how is that? Because Karandakshai Vishnu is eternal within the body of Baladev. So ultimately Baladev manifests all jivas. But the medium through which he manifests the Tatasta jivas is by Karandakshai Vishnu. Right? So I just want to complete this um, short, uh, there's very little left now in this chapter that I was reading from Gurudev's lecture. So. Here Gurudev is saying, what kind of gyan does Guru give? When we say that gyananjana shalakya, what kind of gyan does a Gurudev, does Sri Guru give? Now Gurudev says, he gives Radha Tattva, he gives Krishna Tattva, he gives Upasak and Upasana Tattva, knowledge of the Bhakta and knowledge of Bhagavan. He gives knowledge of Maya Tattva, of Prem Tattva, all the way up to Madanakya Mahabhav. And all the other Tattvas manifest in the heart of a disciple. They all manifest because of Guru. Once we were with Gurudev in uh, San Francisco. And it was one day before his festival, so there was just a little small group, six or seven devotees who were walking with Gurudev on his morning walk. Gurudev sat down on a park bench. And Gurudev asked the question to us, because he would often ask us questions, see if we know the answer. And he said, so if there is a devotee, a person who hears, he hears, that one should uh, chant the holy names of Krishna all the time, 24 hours a day, one should stay in Vrindavan, and one should, in this way, use all of his time. So if that devotee goes there, and he does that, then Gurudev's question to us was, what will be the result for that devotee? Can he attain perfection? Can he realize Krishna, everything? Oh, Gurudev, I forgot to say that Gurudev said, he, he does not have guru. <laughs> I forgot to say that. He doesn't have guru. But he does that. So, then Gurudev asked us, can he attain uh, perfection? And, you know, he asked one or two of us. And we both said, well, no. But then Gurudev said, well, why can he not attain it? Why can he not attain perfection? And then Gurudev had to answer because we couldn't answer. So then Gurudev said, because where will the bhavs come from in that devotee's heart? Where will they come from? 
They come from Guru. They come from the mercy of Guru, who's giving his blessings. He's satisfied. Then Krishna gives his blessings. Then all knowledge comes in the heart. So, Gurudev saying that all tattvas manifest in the heart of the disciple. Now, Gurudev says, Balaram, he carries a plow and he also carries a club. Now, with his plow, what does Balaram do with his plow? What do you use a plow for? Huh? Yeah. The plow is breaking up the earth so that you can plant seeds. So Balaram always holds a plow. So why, why is this significant? What is the meaning that he's holding a plow? The meaning is that he cultivates the field of devotion by doing what? Removing anartas. Removing anartas. So in this way, he prepares the ground to sow the seed of prema bhakti. So then with his club, he protects the growing plant by removing anartas that have come after the sowing of the seed. So Balaram, he gives chitbal, spiritual strength, as we just heard Maharaj say. Chitbal, spiritual strength, to who? To the Unmukajiva, hmm? to the liberated associates of Krishna, and for the Vimukajiva, the conditioned souls. So, how does he give this chitbal to the Vimukajivas, the conditioned souls? He comes as Guru Tattva. Baladev comes as Guru Tattva, and he gives chitbal, spiritual strength. So bhakti, beginning from shraddha and going up to the highest limit of rudha and adirudha madanakya mahabhav, going up to that limit from shraddha, all of that rests on the platform of what? Sandini shakti, which is personified by Balaram. So are there differences between Baladeva and Krishna? Yes, Gurudev is saying there are apparent dualities, differences. Because why? Because those human-like pastimes of Krishna and Balaram, they're called Naravat Leela. So that cannot take place without apparent differences uh, of opinion between them. Because it's Naravat Leela. There was a fight between Duryodhana and Bhima. Do you know about that fight? When Bhim and Duryodhana fought with each other at the end of the Kurukshetra battle. Now, Baladev, he was inclined towards Duryodhana and Krishna was inclined towards Bhim. Now, Balaram considered Duryodhana his disciple and therefore he had affection for him. So Krishna gave a hint to Bhim to strike what? The thigh, the thigh of Duryodhana. Not his knee, his thigh. And then Baladev considered that Krishna has instigated Bhim, because he saw that. Because Krishna was going like this, giving the signal. But Baladev saw that and he thought, what is this? Krishna has instigated Bhim to violate the rules of Kshatriya conduct. And he became angry and he wanted to kill Bhima. <laughs> but then Krishna stopped him. And there's another apparent difference which occurred in relation to Arjuna. Arjuna disguised himself as a sannyasi. And he wanted to marry who? Huh? Subhadra. Yes. Subhadra. He wanted to marry Subhadra, Krishna's sister. And also all the Dwarkavasis, they heard the news of about this advanced sannyasi who had uh, disguised himself, which was, which was Arjuna. 
So Krishna offered him obeisances and all others followed his example. Then later on, during the kidnapping of Subhadra, then Subhadra got on a chariot and Arjun caught her hand and pulled, and she pulled him onto the chariot. And then she drove the chariot as Arjun fought with the opposing soldiers. So now Baladev took his club and his plower and he was ready to kill Arjuna. And then Krishna asked him, where are you going? And Balaram answered, to kill Arjun. He has abducted Subhadra. Did you know that also, it's not being mentioned here, that, that uh, <laughs> Subhadra was supposed to get married to who? Duryodhan. Yes, but this is a short synopsis, so Gurudev's not mentioning. So, so, so in that way, so Balaram says, oh, I'm going to kill Arjun. He has abducted Subhadra. And then Krishna replied to him, I did the same thing. I kidnapped Rukmini. Aniruddha kidnapped Usha. Samba kidnapped Lakshmana. There's nothing wrong in that. And besides, why do you say that Arjun kidnapped Subhadra? Subhadra herself pulled Arjuna up on the chariot and she herself drove that chariot. So moreover, if you kill Arjuna, Subhadra will become a widow. Then Baladev finally said, why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> so why did Balaram not know earlier that the sannyasi was Arjuna? Because the cause was yoga maya. Yoga maya is only a manifestation of Radhika and yet she even makes Radhika forget. Yes. Nothing can happen without yoga maya. So, now in finishing, Gurudev is just mentioning Pralambasur. Yes. He's just mentioning Pralambasur. So, we just heard this pastime nicely described by Maharaj that Pralambasura took Balaram on his shoulders and Balaram killed him by giving him a blow. Only one. So the significance of this pastime is what? That Guru Tattva removes the duplicity, the kapatya, kapatata of the disciple. That's the meaning of this pastime, that Guru Tattva removes this duplicity. So then Gurudev says, sometimes the Guru may even publicly point out the disciple's defect. Huh? Yes, we've had that happen to ourselves. Sometimes the Guru may even publicly point out the disciple's defect. But if the disciple is insincere, not sincere, then he may become angry and ignorantly he may leave his Sadguru. Yes. So then finally Gurudev mentions at the very end, he says, during the time of Lord Ramachandra, this, there was a gorilla named Dvivida. Gorilla. He liked Ram. But he did not like Lakshman. And he knew that Balaram, he was previously that same Lakshman. So and therefore he tried to kill him at Raivat Parvat. Yes, this Davida tried to kill Balaram. Even Ravana and Meghanath could not kill Dvivida in Ramlila. But Balaram easily did so. Shri Balaram Jiu Ki Jai. Akanda Guru Tattva Shri Balaram Jiu Ki Jai. Baladev Prabhu Ki Jai. Baladev Purnima Ki Jai. Anantakoti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai. Samagata Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Nitai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Vansha Kalpaturubascha Kripa Sindhubeva Chapati Tanam Pavani Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Bolo Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 
हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे हरे
Sidibai Priyai Keshavasya Krishna Bhakti Pradevi Sachavachai Namonam Pancha Kalpaturu Vascha Kripa Sindhu Veva Chapatitanam Bhavane Vyo Vaishave Vyamamo Namaha Jai Balade Purnima Ki Jai